So let me begin with a very warm and gracious hello to all of my good friends out there scouring the globe and the lands in which you inhabit and the seekers of fortune. Welcome to another video. Doug here with Trade with Doug. And today we are going to talk about the elephant in the room, the news story of the day. Elon Musk becomes the single largest shareholder of the Twitter and the question is, does he have good intentions? Do you trust the greatest stock pumper of our generation? Or do you think he has something sinister up his sleeve? We're going to talk about that here in just a second. But before I get started, let me remind you of something I was talking about yesterday. For the next two weeks, I'm going to be doing a special here on my part-time trader program. I'm trying to draw more attention to this part-time trader program because I believe in it and I think it's fantastic. Just yesterday, I said only three, three losing trades the whole year, man, three. Here's the results. I got the results up for everyone to see. I actually have some more gains to add to this. I haven't gotten to it yet today, but amazing start. So I want to share this with everyone. I want everybody to be a part of it. If you're looking for one to three great trading ideas, swing trading ideas, easy, actionable trading ideas, then go ahead and visit the link that I put down in the description box for a limited time, 50% off. Now let's get down to business. Let's talk about the twits. Many have tried to turn this thing around. Perhaps one of the most confusing stocks amongst the social media world. How have they not figured out how to wildly profit since so many people use it, but they can't figure out how to monetize it. So the question becomes, what is Musk trying to do here? Is he doing this for his own good so he can just blab his mouth constantly on Twitter and not be banned? Does he really want to bring back free speech? And maybe unblock some of those old tweeters that got kicked out, like the, the former president, Trump. He's trying to bring those people back. And, and maybe that's something that needs to be done because we should have free speech. We should be able to use a platform to say what we want. Is that what his agenda is? Or is this guy just trading this like, like Bitcoin? Is he pumping it like a Dogecoin? I mean, it's really hard to tell here at this moment. Because one of the, we'll, we'll look at both sides of this argument here and we'll talk about it. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I'd estimate right now, let's just talk about his agenda, what he may have. It. There's obviously lots of problems for Twitter. Twitter's been the subject of buyout rumors since it's been traded. Like I said in the beginning there, for a social media platform that has so many users, they're certainly far behind a Facebook as far as profitability, etc. It just seems like they've never figured out how to monetize this. So is this something that he really wants to do? The next angle is he just trying to keep himself relevant, right? Is this a publicity stunt, perhaps? Or is he trying to trade it? Now, when I say trading it, you've got to figure he's been in this since probably, I don't know, 39, 38. I think you have three days to file this after you do it. So uh, he's got to be up, I don't know, 70 mil-ish on this trade so far. So what is the actual exit strategy what is his strategy and to be honest with you guys i have absolutely no idea and i think he's the only one that has himself an idea and he probably could change his mind at any time i'm sure that there's some sort of hidden agenda here now that's different when it comes to this guy compared to some of the others like if warren buffett buys something in this quantity people know that he's gonna hold he's got a long track record of holding and never selling so they're willing to put money to work here you kind of scratch your head now, it also makes me think of, if you guys can remember a while back, Weight Watchers. Remember when Oprah got in this? I don't even remember the year. You probably have to pick a weekly chart to, to figure that out. I'm sorry if I don't already know this. It was a long, long time ago. But that was sort of the same thing using that star power and influential power. But she had really good intentions and people trust Oprah. And this stock went on a tear. So here's what I'm saying. If his intentions are good, which we don't know this, let me pull Twitter back up. If his intentions are good and he wants to turn this around, he wants to help them fix their problems. I don't know how much he can do with that being a, I, don't know, I think a 9% shareholder. I don't know what kind of weight he has there, but still, if that's the philosophy, then there's a lot of room for this to run. Even though if we're just looking at technical analysis, it's up 20, 28% today. It's hard to tell. There's still room to run. This thing was trading at 73 during the summer before the rest of the growth stocks took a dive. So there's a, there's an opportunity for this thing to run back into the 70s. It just it just depends. 
uh, he could milk this too. He could just continue to keep this and continue to tweet about this in his subtle ways, drawing more buyers in. But I would have to say in an honest fashion from trader to trader, you can't trust anyone in this world. Seriously. You have no idea when the rug might get pulled out. So what does that mean? You can't take you can't just let this thing slide back. You can't just hold and hope. I did the thing about the AMC investors where you become a cult somewhere along the line when something is not working out and you start pointing the fingers. I'm not saying that's going to happen here, but someone could sell this at any time and it's very difficult to say how that, how that will be. From experience, if there's anything I can go on, because I'll just be honest with you, do I know any more than the next person? No. And like I said, he could change his mind at any time. His agenda could change. As far as it keeps going up, he'll keep holding. The moment he thinks the gig is up, he could start selling. You, you, you can change your mind at any time. It's not the first and last person to ever do that. What you really need to rely on here is the technicals. And I would say after an event like this, you need probably two to three days to let everything digest to see if it's been able to rally. And here's one of the things I am noticing. After this was announced, you got a really impulsive move from 40 up into 50 here. That's that's a pretty substantial move, 10 bucks, you know, uh, all at once. So it just kind of hits this 50, $50 mark. We'll just say 50 bucks. It kind of hit that mark real early. Now, since that moment, it, it's gone up and it's gone down, but if you look at where it is right now, that's about unch, right? That's that's about right where it has left. It hasn't been able to tack on anything else for the remainder of this day. So yes, it kind of dipped a little bit this morning and rallied from 48 to 50, but all in all, considering where it was on Friday, it hasn't been able to build too much on that. So the way I would look at this right now is, it just isn't attractive right now. And most traders and investors are, are erring on the side of caution here, erring on the side of caution, I should say, and trying to let it digest a little bit. It's going to need to kind of absorb these gains up here and prove that this is really what's going to happen. Because to be honest, everybody's in the same position as you are and I am, is we don't know what his agenda is. And it's hard for us to figure that out right now. We're going to need more days to go off the calendar. We're going to need more data to come in. We're going to need to feel this out, get the news stories, whatever, and figure it out. Uh, it's really hard. Again, swing trading this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really recommend it right here. I can't honestly, in good conscience, recommend that you chase a stock that's up 27% and swing trade it. Because the overnight risk, maybe it doesn't happen and probably doesn't, especially in this era, but it, it's an existing problem that's there. And one of your goals, your main goal as a trader is always risk management first. You go every trade assessing risk. And the risk that you take here is him bailing out, saying, I'm selling. He says the word I'm selling, it's here tomorrow, right? Um, it, that can happen. Not saying that's going to, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a problem. That's something that's there. Will he add? If he adds, maybe that, that bumps it. I don't know this yet. So I would let this thing settle in a few days. If a couple of days come by and, it's, and it remains above the gap up price, what is this? Let's look at an actual gap up price here. Excuse me for one second. Let me get a better tool here. Uh, 47.29. Let's just say 47. If it, can, if it can remain above 47 for the next two days, I would be interested in longing it. I would be willing to take a chance longing it with a stop just right under the gap to see if maybe it will just kind of turn back up and press to 55. Now, I would say any sort of pullback, any sort of hold and a re-gear. So if you're new to trading, often slang re-gear is any move that goes up, pulls back, and then re-gears for that second wave of momentum. Even if it was one day, any any sort of press that comes back above today's high of 51.37, who knows? There's still time left today. It might trade through that. I would still say it's probably a long because you have some air up here to 55, and then you have some air up here to 65. So there's still a legitimate chance you have some room in here. The question, though, as I said before, it's all about risk. Where can you get in this? with the least amount of risk to try the trade, because I personally think it's worth it, not today, but I think it's worth it to watch this. 
Now, the flip side of it is do people call this a scam? Is he crazy? Is he losing his mind? Do you short it? That's a possibility. But I'm going to say, as someone who loves to short stocks, I wouldn't do this one right now. There's too much headline attention on this stock. And because it's Twitter, it can easily pull in more traders. I, I wouldn't mess with them. There are tons of other stocks out right, out right now that are much better, in my opinion, to short than this one. Because they always have a squeeze potential. Speaking of that, you know, I mentioned I was short AMC on this last rally at, at, at 28s. But anyway, all in all, guys, here, here's the thing. Is it a buy? I can't, I can't tell you that, that it is. I, I can't advise anyone to chase something that's up 28%. That's just my personal beliefs. I could very well be wrong because maybe it rallies 20% tomorrow. You know, it, that happens. But as a trader, your goal is always to go in with risk versus reward, right? You go in with risk versus reward is something that's speculative that's up to the market. The thing that's surrounding Twitter right now is what is his actual agenda? And again, nobody knows this except for him. And you know what? Maybe he doesn't know it. Because when people get this, you know, they live in these fantasy worlds, right? These really rich people, celebs, right? They have these little fantasy bubbles, man. They just throw money around like it ain't no big thing. And it's hard to tell whether he's going to just use this as a trade. Because, I mean, look, he's up 70 mil here today. Mm. I don't know. Would you take that? Huh? I don't know. Does he have something? Does he think he's going to get more? I mean, again, I don't think we know that. Now, maybe by the time you hear this video, <laughs> I get done rendering it and publishing it. Maybe you already know that. Um, so let's do this. One, I think we need a few days to figure this out. If you want to invest in this over the longer term, you, you need to wait this one out. Twi Twitter's a sketchy company. It's had a lot of news around it. it, it it's, I'm going to say sketchy as it's going broke. It's just management has always been piss poor in my opinion here. You're going to need a few days in order to, 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 to let this thing settle down and see where it may go. If you get some bases there and it looks like the market's supporting some numbers around that 47, I'm all in, I'm, I'm all in favor of trying along. I think it's worth going for it because maybe it's got another $10, $15 squeeze left in it. If it's unable to really rally over the next few days, then, this, then the bump is probably done, whatever the news impulse was. And that's kind of maybe what we have to think about now because it has rallied and it hasn't been able to build much today. If it's unable to really start working its way up and continues just to fade, then I would probably switch my stance and maybe even think possibly about shorting because then that means the momentum story, the story that got the momentum started is dying. You can't find any more buyers up here. And that'd be something to look at. So Anyway, let's look at those numbers. Watch 47 to the downside and watch today's high of 51. I think any moves that goes above that 51, it does look attractive long. Not today, but maybe tomorrow. If for you day traders out there, there's, there's tons of scalps on this all day long, long and short. But if you're looking for swings, you're going to need a solid press above 51 on volume to really get behind that. Um, if the closer it gets to 47, if you're able to hold that level, then that should sure up and, and, and really tighten that, that stock up and maybe give it some uh, extra buyers down there. Anything that starts trading below 47, either short it or just get out of it. So anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope I was able to at least educate you a little bit, entertain you a little bit, and enlighten you a little bit on what we discussed. If you need help, as always, feel free to reach out to me. Support at the link on list.com. I'd be glad to answer your questions. You don't have to be a member for that. I'm easily accessible. As always, feel free to join the part-time trader program in the private community. Until next time, trade well. See you later.